teachers are overwhelmingly uh, very happy. The they didn't win everything they wanted through this strike, but they won a major pay increase, more funding for schools. They prevented um, new tax cuts. So generally, people felt like that's, this struggle was successful and they're uh, eager to keep on fighting for the rest of the demands. Now, we have spoken to many teachers um, in the past few weeks about the appallingly bad conditions in U.S. schools. Um, they have gotten a partial settlement. What are the teachers now saying needs to be done to reform the U.S. education system? Well, specifically in Arizona, um, there's two main issues that haven't been resolved yet. One was is the funding. The demand for pay increases was one in part, but the question of restoring $1 billion in cuts to Arizona public schools alone hasn't been won yet. So the teachers, their union, their organization, they put an initiative on the upcoming ballot to tax the rich to fund the schools uh, to get this extra money. The second big issue that hasn't been resolved yet is the question of privatization. There's a real big wave in Arizona and across the country to push charter schools, um, vouchers, different things that take public funds into and put them into private schools. And so there's going to be another initiative at the November 2018 ballot to basically repeal and to stop this privatization effort in Arizona. So there's a lot of struggle to come. Well, actually, as you mentioned, a lot of struggle. Your article for Jacobin spoke a lot about the power of the people. Do you expect to see more teachers protest in Arizona and across the country as a result of this decision or this success? Oh, yeah, definitely. The, the strike wave uh, it continues. It's an extremely exciting moment uh, in U.S. history and labor history. Uh, after West Virginia, we saw Oklahoma, now Arizona. Um, already, Colorado teachers uh, in one district are starting uh, a strike next, this coming Monday. And in North Carolina on um, May 16th, teachers are also planning a walkout. So there's no sign that this strike wave um, is stopping anytime soon. It's very uh, inspiring.